right, guys, I am Kim Parker, one half of United Land Co. I'm Jason Parker's wife, and I'm excited because today I'm going to show you guys how to use Google Earth. Um, if you haven't used it yet, it's an amazing tool to be able to check out and investigate properties, um, see if they're going to be a good fit for you or not. So I'm on our website right now. I'm going to scroll down to the property location section. And we've started, we haven't done all the properties yet, but we're starting to add these uh, Google Earth 3D map views. So I'm going to show you uh, how to use this, how to use the controllers on it. So this can be a great tool for you guys to be able to check out properties that you're interested in. So if you click on this link right here, it's going to take a second for it to load because it's a lot of information, a lot of data and such in here. Um, and this is going to give you an amazing view of, um, of this property or any property that you're trying to check out. Um, so I'm going to, I, I created this project. Um, I keyed in basically each GPS coordinate of each corner of the parcel. So if, um, if you look right here, these are each corner of the parcel. I created this project for you, but you also can just, in the search right here, you also can just key in the GPS coordinates that way. But I just wanted you to be able to easily see the corners as you are looking at this pro property. So right now we are in the overhead view, which is just your you know, standard satellite view. But the cool thing about this one is when you switch to 3D view, and then I'm gonna show you how to use the controllers on here. So I switched to 3D view, it pops you down where you can see the topography of the property. So now if I take this and I click on this, double click, that's going to swap out where this compass is in the uh, basically where I can use that to navigate around with instead. So I am going to show you how you can basically view a property from all directions and get down at basically flat eye level and be able to see what you want to see on the on the property. OK, so. This right here towards the outer ring, if I click on that outer area and drag, that's going to spin it around so you can move it slowly to see it from all directions. You can also zoom in or zoom out and be able to spin it around to see what it looks like from all directions. So this is kind of like a lot of times we try to get drone footage of a property, but this is like drone footage on steroids because you're actually able to control it yourself. So that's how you spin it. Now, as far as the tilt of the property, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. And I'm going to turn like this. You can see it from this corner. So there are two different ways that you can do this. So one way is in order to tilt it down even more so that you can get a good view of it, you can click right in the center of this compass. So I'm gonna click this and hold down my cursor or my mouse as I move up or down. So I'm gonna go like this and that's gonna tilt it down right at you know, pretty much eye level, which is really cool because you can really see exactly what the property looks like. Um, this, if I want to move, just move in a direction, not tilt it, you're going to click on the screen and, and pull it in that direction. So you see, I clicked here and I pulled it towards the northeast corner. So this is really cool because it's going to show you what your view looks like in every direction. So now that I'm at this level, I can take it and spin around and see, oh, that's what my view would look like that direction. And obviously, if you're too zoomed in, um, there can be another mountain that's in the way. So you can take this, tilt it back down and kind of get behind that point. So right now I'm going to drag right here so I can get behind that other uh, peak that was in the way. And now I'm going to turn it like this. It's kind of like flying a little bit. And then now I'm going to tilt it back down like that. 
move it over so I can see what my view would be like from this direction. You have to kind of play around with it, zooming out and zooming in, tilting it down. So you can see from this direction, you can see, you know, Teddy's Peak, you can see the road access and all that. Um, this is especially helpful if you're looking at a mountain property, because obviously all mountain properties are pretty much going to be sloped, um, but you can see if it will be, if it will fit your needs. Um, so you can see now from this direction, I, I turned it this, this way to turn it around. And now I'm just clicking and dragging to get over to here. So this is uh, not the uh, perspective that I want. So I'm clicking right here, I'm gonna tilt it down. That way I can see what the view would be like this direction from the road. Um, that's how you get there directly from a link. If you wanted to go by GPS coordinate, um, I'll show you how it hops over to a different property whenever you do it that way. So here's another of our mountainous properties. So I'm going to scroll down to the property location section. I'm going to grab um, this northwest corner GPS coordinate. And now I can hop over. So this one I had marked the corners for you, but you can also just search by GPS coordinates. So I'm going to click right here and I'm going to paste that GPS coordinate and hit, hit enter. And now it's going to take me over to that one, which is on the other side of that mountain pass. Um, the reason why these corners are marked is because I had already marked this project, but normally it would just be this red mark right here. And so you're you're seeing that it's uh, spinning it around for you. And then I can do the same thing where I can turn it. I can click in the center of this to tilt it down and see what the views would be like of the other um, in each direction. So I hope that helps you guys uh, use this amazing tool. If you have any questions on how to use it, feel free to reach out. Um, but we love this tool so much and it gives you such a great idea um, on what a property is like either before you visit or if you're not able to visit it and you can see exactly from Google Earth what it looks like. So thanks so much and I hope you guys have a great day.